All right, so welcome to our upside down boat. Uh, badge has got boards off the wall. We've got no engine. We're kind of living displaced. But today, today we're going to try and make sense of our lives. So coffee first, then the boat guys will be here to start their day. Maybe the sun will make an appearance. More coffee, have a wash, and then maybe we'll get the engine in. In fact, as soon as I've had a coffee, let's go and unbox the engine. going to do now they're gonna we need to measure up inside the engine bay because obviously the, the frame I had for the other engine is slightly too big big sorry to immediately put this one on top of so they're gonna to need to fabricate a few things so some measurements need to be done so the easiest way of doing that is to rather than running back and forward measuring up measuring up measuring up measuring up let's just the engine in a little bit and we can measure up from there they've got a big enough crane it's easy enough and they've got the manpower so let's see how we go Well, it's all a bit upside down and inside out if you will and um, the engine's been in and then out again because they're getting all the mountains uh, done correctly so that they can align it with the shaft uh, and the, the actual bracket that the engine sits on has had to be um, fabricated well that's fabricate some stuff because it's a smaller engine same horsepower a bit more horsepower but it's smaller so we're living a bit upside down at the moment because we are engineless uh, we've got no hot water but we can still sort of you know wash and eat etc etc um but we get in there slowly so the engines back out and they're mounting stuff so hopefully today um the coupling will be sorted uh, for the engine to the to the shaft it's exciting but it's like it never goes fast enough so you've got to calm yourself down and realize that it is what it is and it has to be done properly but we're getting there so it's all good Same as we did the 
nearly there. So let's have a look at what we've actually got done in the engine room. Well, the control panel's almost in. And what you'll notice is it's much neater. I'll still need to give it another lick of paint uh, because we've obviously with all the welding and, and the work that's been going on, it's got dirty again, but we knew that was going to happen. New coupling, new union for the exhaust, new filters, all new piping just about. So really all the major work's been done and it's just basically tidying up all the cables, a lick of paint and all the small jobs left just to make it look good. All right. So that's as far as we've got so far. Uh, engine's in, it's working. I've got loads more tidying up to do. Uh, but I've got a big smile on my face because the heart transplant, Badger's heart transplant has been successful. And if you could see that water tur uh, turbulence, uh, we've never seen that on Badger since we've, since we've been on it. So for six months going around the network from uh, Kings Bromley to Leicester, from Leicester to Stratford-upon-Avon, from Stratford-upon-Avon back to here, we've never seen that kind of power uh, from from the engine. So it's going to be really interesting to see how how we do because we're going to take it for a spin tomorrow, and I'm I'm like a little boy at Christmas, but it's better than Christmas because I've got something I want. Um, yeah, it's all good. So, very happy. Still loads of work to do. Um, some of it will be have to wait now until next week because uh, Mark, who's doing the installation, is away now with a, for his little narrowboat holiday. But that's all good because we couldn't actually book in for a specific time to get this work done simply because we didn't know when the engine was going to arrive. And they've they've been really quite amazing working around everything, and they've been very accommodating and. Everybody who who lives here as well has welcomed us with their open arms and we've been accepted as one of the gang. In fact, my next door neighbour, Eves, um, just brought us some damson crumble, which we will have after dinner. I mean, I feel like I've been adopted. It's uh, truly remarkable um, how, how nice everybody's been since we've been here. So I'm quite happy to hang out for a week and test drive Badger up and down and then any little anomalies that we find when Mark comes back we will address then and then all the little finishing jobs that he has to do um, he'll do when he gets back anyway so um, happy is uh, an understatement right now so our lives are still a little bit upside down but it's all part of the adventure happy days so I'll drink to that tonight for sure mm. And thank you, Lloyd, as well. Lloyd, a good friend of mine from Texas, has sent me um, some money via the buy me a coffee link in the description to buy a round of drinks. She said, so I bought a round of drinks, Lloyd. Thank you very much. Yeah. And there's, oh, don't don't worry, there's a bottle of wine for for Camille as well. I've had more than one already. You may have uh, already ascertained, but. Uh, I'm a happy man tonight, so uh, hopefully when I see you next week I'll be even happier because we're going to test drive Badger tomorrow. So, see you next week.